Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Son of Mogef, it's Monday and I'm playing The Sapling once more. I did some playing around the sandbox last week with a questionable success. I'm going to do it again this week, only I'm going to try and remember to do things better. I did fail last week to use instincts. I didn't really do the traits properly either. And I do have a world ready to have... Oh, I don't know why it started me there. What was I saying? Yeah, ready to introduce animals into. There's, there's like five different plants I introduced and... As you can see, some of them have spread out, and others, not so much. It does seem to be mostly one plant that has survived. Although there are some others. Some of them have flowers, and some of them do not, and... Again, it is mostly just this one... Plant. Um, it won't go over there. Oh, uh, uh, hang on. There we go. <laughs> I've got the camera stuck on a rock. Yeah, it's kind of interesting to me how the majority of these plants are... Uh, are one, uh, one type. That's what I was trying to say. The majority of the plants are one type. I dare say there's more in there, I just, you know, can't see them from here. Now, what I also did is, I enabled this, which is, uh, I'm going to pause it quick, which is random mutations. I didn't use the, either of these functions last week, because let's face it, I don't use the basic functions all that well, but I am using them this week, so this one increases the the time it skips the time forward by given amount like i can like set it to 200 or i can set it to a th uh, 10 thousand 50 or how do i exit this there we go like that and this one enables random mutations which should be fun i'm not sure if that includes plants and animals or just animals or whatever but it's on anyway so i'm gonna introduce a couple of herbivore species i think two i'll put like maybe two over here and two over here so they can bridge this gap should they need to i'm gonna go ahead and do that let's let uh i'm probably going to uh not do this all that well but Okay, that's fine, I guess. Let's give these herbivore mouths. Uh, I guess he can have the... No, not on the side. No. No. Come on. There we go. <laughs> it actually doesn't look that bad for a change. Let's uh, put the eyes on it first. I'll just give it fairly oh, i don't like those though there we go <laughs> fairly basic eyes let's have some ears uh these ones maybe again i'm picking these fairly randomly but i can uh, adjust things as needed let's have a look it's got eyes ears mouth and feet i need to set traits If I maybe make this one scaly and make the... I, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll make this one scaly just for the reasons. Right, it's the instincts that I keep forgetting to do. So if it sees the colour... Oh, you can see like all of... Oh no, naught years, naught years, 380 years... Nor, nor, it looks like pretty much everything went extinct. Apart from these ones. 
which are very, very similar to the other ones. So, yeah, you can tell they're slightly different species, but they are, in fact, there. If I tell them, I don't know, to go towards those ones, I think all the plants are the same colour apart from the ones that are, well, not. <laughs> That's a pretty obvious statement, isn't it? But I'm going to set this. Right, if it feels too warm, then go away from it. That, that should keep them in an area that's, you know, just about right. I'll add another one. If they feel too cold, go away from it. Uh, did I set this one properly? It's just occurred to me, I'm not sure whether I told them to go away or towards it. Oh, God. Wait. No, I want that on feel. I want that on feel. And I want this one to go towards it. And the others should be set... Oh, let's go away. That one's go away. That one's go towards. Right, I think that's right. Because that one's on C. These are on feel. And, you know, the movement. I think that's right. I'm sure I'm going to get comments if it's not, but... Let's uh, pop this guy into the world, if I can, in fact, get him to survive anywhere. It's interesting that this band in the middle is, tends to be too hot, but if I put, say, one there and one there, I can then... Let's make another one from scratch. Uh, let's make it as different as I can. Uh, let's have a look. Let's make it quite... I don't know if that's a good idea. No. Uh, poo. Yeah, let's just use that one. Alright. <laughs> and that one, and if I make it like quite, quite thin... Oh, that looks weird, man. There we go. Give it a bit of a tail. Like, like so. I don't particularly want it dragging on the floor. There we go. Some, some, something like that. <laughs> looks awful, but it'll do. Let's give it a different mouth. Uh, what have we got down here? Eats meat, eats meat, eats plants. There we go. God, again, it looks awful. Why can I never create something that doesn't look atrocious? Uh, I'll give him these eyes for the... <laughs> I love those eyes, the big eyebrows. I don't know why, I just do. I think they're funny. Give him these? I mean, at least they fit on his head this time. I don't have to put them down here on its body. Uh, what else do I have here? It's got eyes, ears, a mouth. It's got feet. I'll give it antlers. I, I can't really fit them on his head, so maybe I'll just give him like these spines. Just, just a couple. Again, somewhat randomly. Let's give him some traits. Make him furry. I made the other one scaly, right? That's what I did. Not entirely convinced I did that either. I'm going to give this one similar traits. See the colour of this. Go towards it. And then for this instinct, I want to feel too warm go away from it and then this one too cold go away from it oh well, no wait i've got to set it to see it keeps going back to this one and i'm not sure why this one feel this one feel let me just make sure no go away go away go towards right i i think that's basically right 
the state of this thing. There you go, let's go ready on that one. Huh. Okay, so... I don't think I put any animals up here, did I? I'm gonna put... See, I'm tempted to put one up there and one up there. I think I'm gonna do that. Like this. I wanted this bit to be fairly... Not empty, but, you know, just plant life so it can spread back into there and into there. I'm not, again, I'm probably doing it the dumbest way possible. I don't know why I clicked that button. I don't know why I did it. Now, I just want to see how well these things survive for, you know, a while on their own. Now, I can set it to be quick like that or I can just choose to do a uh, a, con a complete skip I don't think the one over here survived at all these guys are slowly spreading out that's good to see oh good god I when the world fills up the frame rate goes a bit crazy it like dies and it it's really difficult to control the camera. I should just use these buttons, shouldn't I? But it, even those are quite weird, like... The frame rate is absolutely awful. It is an early access game. So, yeah, some of these guys are actually still alive, believe it or not. I'll do, like, a time skip, just an example. 250, let's jump. Oh, wait for it. Wait for it. Hey, I can't tell if it's finished or not. There we go. Oh, that seems to have fixed the frame rate as well. Go go me, I think. Right, with fairly small populations of animals, there's some over there. You can just sort of see them. And some here. I'm going to introduce... Uh, a carnival species. I'll just keep it as one for now. I I keep wanting to use these. Because they just look awesome. Let's make a killer turkey. <laughs> why why not? Turkeys are bad tempered anyway. There we go. Put you on there. Look. Oh no, there was a beak, wasn't there? Was There was one that was like, yeah, let's use that one. Rah! It already looks vicious, doesn't it? Aren't you afraid of this? Yes, said no one ever. Okay, yeah, I'll give him those eyes. I keep giving the animals ears and not really... I don't like those. And not really, um... You know, giving them any instincts to actually use them, but again, I'm still getting used to things. All right, let's give it. Where are those crazy? There we go. Oh God, no! Oh, no, no, no! There, please. Can I make this taller? Uh, and really awkward sometimes. I, I guess that'll do. Look at the state of this thing. That's, that's kind of terrifying, isn't it? <laughs> I like it. Right, so it needs... Trace. I guess I make it feathered? That's probably not going to help, but I'll do, I'll do it. Let's try give it some instinct. So if it sees... Color. Wait. Oh, there we go. Oh. Why can't I select either of these? Does its eyes not see those colors? Uh, hang on. Let me. I'm going to make some adjustments here. Let me see if I can see what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> right. There we go. I kind of fixed it. I was correct. The eyes that I put on it were not a type that could see these colors 
Which is pretty interesting when you think about it. I just changed them to one that can. I do that. The other herbivore is the same colour, so it should be alright. Let me add a new instinct. So if it feels too warm, it will go away from it. And if this feels too cold, it will also go away from it. Although, it, it's got these again. This is really weird. That's... It's both... This is confusing to why it does this. Too cold, go away. That one is too warm, go away. And that one's the colour... That? That doesn't seem right. Hang on. Uh, uh, yeah, that. Okay, then go towards it. So this should be towards. That should be away. That should be away. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with this. I feel like it changes the previous settings to the one that you do last. Ah, I don't know. That, that'll do for now. <laughs> Again, I'm sure I'm going to get screamed at in the comments. It, it's fine. I kind of deserve it. I guess I'll put one there and one there where the herbivores are. Can't really put anything in there, but with the random mutations on, maybe they'll work something out here. It's unlikely, given, you know, me. Let's, uh... See if I can actually get a good view here. Okay, okay. So there's my carnivore. Here's a bunch of herbivores. Let's just go at normal speed for a bit. Oh, auto saving. I thought it was telling me something when it extinct. Don't really see that happening. There's a couple of these guys over here, my killer uh, turkeys, as I called them, they're not entirely turkey-like, but they're not entirely not turkey-like either. You see them, like, hopping around. They're trying to fly, they just can't. Let me see if the game will let me go. I just used the camera, son of Mogef. Jesus, it was this one, wasn't it, that goes over there. Are there... Oh, God. Are there any left over here? I can't really see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, there's one there and there's one there. So they're not doing entirely awfully. Doesn't seem like they're doing all that well either. But, you know, give them some time there. There is a bunch of meat on the floor. That's a good point, actually. Can I add instincts to these things that make them scavengers like they can go towards the meat it's not a bad idea actually I'm gonna do I think another little skip here let's give it 250 years and see what happens there we go I didn't get any extinction it's weird that Doing that time skip seems to fix the frame rate. Uh, I'm not seeing any. I don't know if this game has a feature that you can like skip to a particular species. Like you can click a species and just go right to it. Oh, hang on. Is that one? God damn it. It's really hard to tell. All I see is herbivores over here. Let's check the other area and see how that goes. That's not where I thought that was going to go. Hang on. Nope. Nope. Not here. There, please. <laughs> Zoom in a bit. Are there any here? 
I didn't get, again, I either didn't get a message or didn't see the message that I did get. A bunch of them are in the water. I don't know if they're in the water because they can keep their head above the water with their long neck or if they're just trying to swim. Again, I, I don't see any of the carnivals here. Let's have a look. Uh, these are all plants of varying types. Five alive. 81 alive. 87 alive. So there are some of these alive. Uh, can I... Go there. Jold species... Uh, Hmm. So there are some alive, at least. I may introduce another one. See if that's better at survival. It's probably not going to be, but... Alright, let's have a think about what I'm going to do with this one. Again, I'm probably going to create something completely awful. Ooh! I'll make like a carnivorous horse it's not gonna look like a horse at all uh again i can't give it a small neck apparently it, it, I, I guess that's close enough i don't really like that but <laughs> what what mouths have we got here I guess I can give it a fairly normal mouth. Alright, that, that'll that that'll do. Again, looks nothing like a horse, but... Pop some eyes on it. Pop some ears on it. What about these ones? Oh, wait, let's get the big ones. Oh. Uh, where are the big ones that I liked? I can never remember which ones are which is the thing. That's not helpful to me whatsoever. I just I'm gonna give it these ones. At least they fit generally on its head. Not entirely great, but uh let's have a look. What can we do here? Uh fifteen to twenty-five, naught to thirty minus ten to thirty? Again I a feathered thing with no actual wings or anything, but that's fine. Got a decent attack. Let's give it some instincts. This is this is the bit that always like scuppers me. Oh look, you can set it to meat. Interesting. So let's choose the colour of one of these herbivores. Uh yeah, these ones. So, if you see that, then attack it if close. Now, let me select that one. If you see meat, then uh, go towards it, I guess. <laughs> then we're going to select this one and make it not go towards the heat, go away from it. Select that one, feel too cold, go away from it. Ah, I just worked out what it was that I was doing wrong. Because you have to, when you select a new instinct, you have also have to click it. It's almost like double clicking. I wasn't doing that previously, so I'm learning. It's almost like I'm learning. Uh, yeah, let's pop this into the world. Again, I'll, uh, I'll maybe put one there, and I'll put one up here. Maybe I'll put one here and see, like, here and here, just to see if they live, like, at all. I've just noticed there's one there. Oh, no, that's just where my cursor is. All right, I did a dumb, ignore me. I'm just going to go ahead and pretend that didn't happen. I need to 
try and find one. Is that it? I think that guy is it. Right, let me, uh, there we go. Let's, you have to excuse me if my voice volume is inconsistent. I keep leaning in towards the monitor and thusly the microphone to see if I can see what's going on. Just going to fast forward it normally for a little while, just in case it goes immediately extinct. Nobody would be surprised really if it did. Again, I don't really see any over here anymore. I didn't really uh, create it to survive in these environments. I thought I saw one over there for a second then. Let's uh, pop over to the other side, see if we can... Uh... Oh god, that was the wrong bloody camera. There we go. That's not a great one either. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to have to try and remember these. I saw one over there. Look. Yeah, and he's eating things. Yay! Maybe something that can actually survive. I can see one of my original carnivals over here as well, like chilling out in the trees. Level reload upcoming. This may decrease memory usage. Huh. I guess it was detecting a low frame rate? And it tried to do something about it? It's a little inconvenient that... Uh, that I was having a look at things here. Look at him go! I've created a not entirely awful world for a change. <laughs> that one went bright red for a moment. Oh, so did that one. Were they supposed to do that? Or does that just indicate a creature attacking some other creature? Don't really know. Let's do a skip here. Let's do a slightly bigger skip. 750. Uh, no, nope, no. Nope. 500 is what I want. Yeah, let's do that. Calculating. Boom. Okay, again, no extinct messages. Though, again, I'm not really seeing any particular carnival around here. There is some meat down here. Let's see if I can uh, find it. Uh, hello. So, those are zero alive. There's only seven of these alive. The herbivores are doing really very well for themselves, aren't they? Good to know that some of them are alive. There is a thing here. Species. Oh! Well, <laughs> I like the way they've all turned into dots apart from these ones. I should be using this, shouldn't I? If I was smart enough to give them a half-decent name so I could tell the difference between them, then it would be quite viewable <laughs> as to what was where. Although I do think I can rename them, like the plants I'm not that interested in. Not right now, anyway. Can I go ahead and go... Uh... What am I going to call that? I'm assuming I can... Change the name of it. Uh... Hmm. Can I? I'm sure there's an easy way to change the name. But I don't know what it is. Anyway, yeah, I've been recording uh, more than half an hour. I think that's a good place to stop. It's uh, not entirely, again, not entirely awful. I thought there was one of these alive over here. It's, I've just picked it up to place it. That's a, oh, uh, I, I'll save it. That way I can fiddle about in the future.
But uh, yeah, that's this week's episode of The Sapling. Don't know if I'm going to do another one next week. I do kind of feel like I've gone through the majority, if not all, of the content the game's currently got available. Although, I'll absolutely do a revisit when there's a significant update, which is uh, similar to Thrive. Normally, I do Thrive on 2 Video Tuesday, along with Colony Survival. I don't think I'll be doing that tomorrow, because I've also covered the the content that it has available and you know having done the partless challenge as well and might be a good uh i don't want to call it a season finale but since i'll be picking that back up as well so yeah either way like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video come back tomorrow for two video tuesday there definitely will be some colony survival and I've got an idea for another video I'm going to do, but it depends on how well things go in the, you know, the planning phase of that. So, uh, it'll be a bit of a surprise. So if you want to be surprised, come back tomorrow. I'll see you then.